Hello and welcome to this tutorials. So in this one, what we're trying to do is um, we'll modify the same report and um, you know, in the previous tutorial, we added a parameter to this report and what we can do over here is um, add one more parameter and make them cascading. In, this, in the sense like, you know, we'll add a customer ID over here and if someone selects a customer ID, then you populate the territory ID uh, dropdown with only the valid values. So let's see how we can achieve that. So first of all, what I need to do is I need to create a data set which is going to select the distinct customer IDs. So let's follow the same drill. We're going to use the same data source and I am going to add the same table. All right, so here I'm going to add the customer ID and I think this would blow up. Okay, this has got 19,000. So what I'm going to do is I'll add the top 150 customer IDs. All right, so we will be having a drop down with the top 150 customer IDs. And what we need to do is we need to just select the territory ID, which matches the corresponding customer ID. So uh, each customer ID may not have all the 10 territories. It will just have a few of them. And that's what we're trying to do over here. Just select those few territory IDs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say where um, customer ID is equal to customer ID. So, you know, whatever we pass in the first drop down is going to be passed on onto this query and it's going to select, you know, populate the second drop down for us. So as soon as we hit OK, you see that the customer ID parameter gets um, you know, add it to the folder. And what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to specify the values from a query. And this case is going to be data set two. Actually, let me just make sure that the names are intuitive. So I'm going to say parameter cast ID. Okay, that looks better. Now, let's do the same things again. Let's take the customer ID and the customer ID for the label. Okay, so before we hit on preview, we need to do one more thing. We need to make sure that we modify this query to choose the customer ID which we have selected. Perfect. So I guess things look good. Let's see. Okay, so here you see that you know the second drop down has been grayed out for now. It is actually waiting for this drop down to be selected, and this will basically have the 150 random values that we just selected. Um, so I'm going to choose seven, and as soon as I choose seven, you see that the second drop down gets populated, and you see not all the IDs are shown here. Like seven may just have the territory ID equal to one instead of all the territory IDs. So when I hit report view report, you see that that particular record has been displayed. So in this way, you can, you know, add how much of a parameters you want, like, like a typical example would be a super region, region, market name, and so on and so forth. You select, say, Asia, and then you select, um, you know, maybe a country, then a state, and then so on and so forth. That kind of a cascading thing. Um, one more thing that I wanted to show you is that it's not necessary that you always should have a drop down. You could just go here and then say the available values to be none so that you get a text box instead of a drop down and then you manually enter. Like for example, customer ID three and then um, it's basically give you an error, but um, since it's waiting for this value here, you see that for customer ID three, the territory ID four has been shown. And when you hit view report, ultimately it's going to just show you these values. So yeah, those are very simple parameters, um, you know, parameterized report in which the only difference is that the parameters are cascaded. And I'm sure this must have helped you a lot. So thank you so much for watching.